Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at 38 Special 357 Magnum shot shells. These are quarter inch loads that have a number nine shot loaded up in the blue cap. Now I wanted the red cap that has a number four shot, but the store didn't have them, but they did have these with the blue cap. So we're gonna go with that. I have a revolver this time. When I did the nine millimeter review, they said, well, that would be best suited in a revolver so you didn't have to charge the slide. And I agree with that. So I have here, a Rock Island AL 3.0, a little snub nose, six shot revolver. It's got a two inch barrel and you can see that I have the shot shells loaded up. So I'm excited to do this. And we're gonna do, you know, the, the milk jug filled with water. We're gonna fire at a couple pizza boxes, check out the spread and see what these loads will do. Now, these are best suited for rodents and snakes and things like that. When I did the nine millimeter shot shell review, people said, well, I wouldn't use that for self-defense. I'm not suggesting that you use it for self-defense. Actually, I think it's a horrible choice to use for self-defense. However, from here, with my arm extended, we are exactly five feet away. I'm gonna sink two of these shot shells in that milk jug with water. Whoa! So much for sinking two shells in there. Okay, I'm a little shocked. I have to admit, I'm a little shocked. Let's, uh, let's do some more with these shot shells. I wasn't expecting that. I want to show you what exactly happened there. You can see all the, uh, the shots, but check out those nine shot pellets. I counted over 60 of those. Not one of them exited. So you can see that there's a, still a lot of water in there, but it, it blew a hole in there and I was shocked to see that happen. Let's go ahead and set up some pizza boxes and we'll take a closer look at the spread. Here we are the same distance away. My arm extended, we're looking at five feet. Let me go ahead and sink a shot in there. And that I can tell right now it's a pretty, pretty nice spread. Now we have the pizza box 10 feet away. Shot a little high, let me sink another one. All right, and that pretty well covered the entire pizza box. All right, five feet away from my freshly painted target. That is hitting really hard. This is so much more powerful than the nine millimeter. I already knew that, but I didn't think it would be as powerful or as increased power that it adds than the nine millimeter. Because the nine millimeter was big red, number four shot. This is still a number nine shot. And if you take a look at that, you can see that it hit hard and it hit within about four or five inches with the spread. Hey, there are those poisonous Diet Coke snakes. All right, quick cycling is not a great idea with the shot shells. I learned that, but now I have 357 Magnum loaded up. Let's make sure the revolver is still functioning fine. All right, so let's see what happened with this range test. There's the deadly Diet Coke snake. There's the milk jug that we started out with, blew it right off of the stand. Here's the steel plate at five feet. Here's the pizza box at five feet. A little wider spread, but that I shot at an angle. This I shot straight on. Here's 10 feet. You can see that the spread covered the entire pizza box. And over here, is what we have to look forward to. 44 Magnum with the big red shot shells. I cannot wait to do that. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.